hello everyone okay this is the follow-up video to the storm that we had the clouds are still menacing looking but we're not supposed to have any more rain so look how beautiful that sky is look at that beautiful southern california sky it is just so beautiful after after it rains so anyhow, I wanted to show you the damage. Um, there was some damage to my plants, the ones that were let out, that were left out in the in the um, hail. They did manage to kind of break the leaves a bit, kind of freeze them. I don't know if you can tell. Let me see. Hopefully, it can focus well. I can't tell because I'm taping with my phone and the sunlight. Um, here's a sage. Let me see. I'm blocking the sun. Nope, that one's pretty good. That one dodged, dodged the the hail pretty good. And then I have some. Um, this one maybe because it's you know well the leaves are chunkier. Um, geraniums. Um, seem to have chunky leaves. I don't know. It seems like they should be kind of part of a succulent plant in a way, but but they're not. And let me see. These are desert plants, so they did pretty good. Uh, the cordyline needs way more sun. We've had such a wet. Let me see this one. Ah, this is a different type of a, of a geranium and this one doesn't look like if it's damaged this one has like a fuzzy leaf the other one has a waxy type of a leaf and it does seem to oh well look at the the flowers you can tell the damage there that they did get pummeled these were new newly bloomed Oh, it's a shame because look at the vibrancy of the, the color of the flowers on the dream. So it's awesome. This one here. Hmm. I don't know if. I don't know. I can see the leaves a little yellow. I don't know if that's actual damage from sitting in the water too long or if that actually was caused by the hail but I'm gonna keep an eye on that one I think I'm gonna re I'm gonna pot it because um, I noticed that there was this area needs to be higher I'm gonna just go redo this whole area make it higher so that the plants are not sitting in pools of water that's very bad and this um, string of buttons my daughter got me this one but See, yeah, this one has mealybug. It was sick. I didn't want to put it in my garden because it looks sick when she brought it. And I think it, it is sick. I didn't want to put it with my pots, but I see some milky, not milky, but powdery white residue. I'm gonna try to spray this one and save it. Spray it with some alcohol. And hopefully it gets better. I'm gonna going to pull it out of the ground, put it in a pot, and quarantine it. So that hopefully we can save it because it's a really cute plant. And my apuntias, they're dormant right now. And I have a little dragon, dragon fruit one here too. I don't know how this is gonna this is going to do but hopefully they start doing better now that this it's going to start getting hot okay let's walk this way look at all the water that's just from the rain and it overflowed several times but look this is a sedum firestorm and yeah got damaged by the hail. It has little white. Oh, look at that. They got pummeled. Shoot. 
there's a jade in there and yeah so note to self oh my gosh wow this one really got gouged oh i'm so sorry plant i should have brought you in or covered you with something oh man wow there's no point in fretting. I guess I'll just learn from my mistakes and when it's stormy, I'll just cover them up or protect them. And I don't know if you saw my other videos, but this spread is just great for this part. And this one, my long john tree is poor thing. I don't know, it's getting some little brown specks hopefully that's not like a fungus or anything it's been wet so long because of all the rain we've been having here let me check ah this one got damaged too shoot look at that hmm not happy about this but you learn to learn I'm just happy I brought in all my pots I had like my euphorbias and my San Pedro and my torch cactus. I had them out to get some rain. And um, they look great because they were not outside during the storm. So it's best to bring your plants in if it's really, really stormy. I mean, rainwater is great. But make sure you monitor the situation and that you can put them inside if the weather gets too drastic. All right, happy gardening.